Hey guys, I hope you're staying safe. I hope you're staying strong. I hope you are staying awesome today. All right, guys, so let's get into it. Today's topic and lesson is how to stay safe during night shift. There's a lot of people that work night shift that are getting into it or just got into security and have no idea of the dangers that can possibly uh, happen to them. They're not aware of the stuff that can go on around them at three o'clock in the morning, two o'clock in the morning, or even at 10 o'clock at night. But you gotta do the night shift. You gotta work at your grocery store. You gotta work at Walgreens. You gotta work at a, you know, hospital, hotel, whatever it is. Maybe you're a bouncer. I don't know. But these are three simple tips to help you optimize your safety. Let's get started. Numero uno, before you leave, look at your local news. You know, like a responsible adult, you have to be aware of your surroundings. So that you can know how to plan your route to work and you could be aware of any special events that can possibly be happening. For example, you know, you could be working in a grocery store at a supermarket or a supermarket, whatever, right? As a security guard or cashier, it doesn't matter. But there could be a protest happening across the street from you. Protests, depending how big they are, depending how emotional people get, if there's one or two bad apples, can lead to riots and fights breaking out. When that happens, you possibly want to like shelter in. For all those that don't know what shelter in is, pretty much you close up the doors, man. You bring down them gates if you got gates and you don't give access to nobody. But if you're in a business and let's say you're working in a Walgreens as a security guard or you're the owner of a store, you might want to close the door, but you might want somebody at the front, like in the entrance, not in front of the entrance, but in the back with access to open and close, and you let maybe one or two people in at a time so you can control the flow of foot traffic. Now, another thing, another information you can get from looking at your local news before you go to work, your post, wherever it is that you're going, <laughs> be aware of the weather, guys. The weather may change. It could be really hot. It could be really cold. It could be snowing. It could be raining. And people are going to want to escape that temporarily. Most of the time, it's good people and they'll have their hoodies on or whatever the situation may be and they'll wait for an uber or for the weather to line up a little bit so they can go on their way either way foot traffic is going to increase in your post so you want to be aware of that if it rains you want to put some cardboard or a rug on the floor obviously so there's no slip and falls and you don't get in trouble and maybe it's for your benefit as well you know you could be patrolling next thing you know you slip and you fall and next thing you bang your head these kind of things do happen and it's not uncommon, you know, uh, and we've got to be aware of those type of situations so we can attack it or, you know, prevent things from happening. And if a local comes in and they're about to get rowdy, you know, you're already prepared for a high traffic flow and you're more observant, more conscious of what's going on. So if you see any kind of shady movements, any kind of fist clenching, anybody being mad or something like that, you know what to look out for or at least who to look out for within a group if you have more high foot traffic in your location. So number two, this is a little bit of an investment, but it works. It, it prevents a lot of deadly situations from happening. A lot of um, things going down the wrong way. Arrive 15 minutes early to work. Arrive 15 minutes early to work. I know you're not getting paid for that time, but it makes you look like a professional because that's what you are. If you're watching this channel, you're, you're, you're a professional, right? And at the same time, it allows you to speak to the person that might be leaving. Let's say your cashier or your a guard were leaving somebody else. You're there for 15 minutes while they're preparing to leave or when they're about to leave as you're coming in and you can speak to them. Hey, is anything interesting happening? Did anything go down today? Oh yeah, there's some construction work that's happening upstairs. Oh, the fire alarm system is off because they were working on this earlier. So be mindful, you know, if you're a fire guard, if you're in New York, you know what fire guard is. Or let's say, for example, you work in a hotel or in a place that has an elevator. Elevator number two has been acting up. It's still functioning. However, um, just be mindful of it if it gets stuck. Look at the CCTV or if you hear anything through the radio, because a lot of elevators, depending where you're at, has an emergency call button that goes straight to the desk or a info for somebody. And if you're the one in that position that, that has to answer that call, you're better prepared. Sometimes, you know, you have elevators that are acting up, but because that's the one good elevator in the building is still being used. Management has decided to leave it active and not turn it off because the other ones are being repaired or whatever the situation may be. It's out of your control. You do your job, you do the best you can, and you can respond to those type of emergencies. And 
if you're like me and I hear the elevator's messed up, I ain't riding that elevator for a while until I know it's fixed, right? So keep that in mind. Number three, let's go into number three. I want to do this fast for you guys, right? Numero tres. Yeah, I got a list. I'm being more professional for you guys. It's not always just dipping and ripping. <laughs> this is a good one. I read this tip on a book, and then since I read it, I continue to use this to this day. If you have a smartphone, download a police scanner. You hear what I said? You could go on Google Play, wherever it is, you can look for police radio, and you can listen to what your local station, or what I mean station, I mean police precinct near your house is uh, listening to as well, responding to. You could let it play in the background. You could put on your Bluetooth, you know what I'm saying? Your, your Scullies, Skull Candies, whatever, right? Put it on one ear and just let it play. Let it play like a, like a podcast, right? And when you hear your address, when you hear an address near your building, your store, your hotel, your whatever, then that's when your spider senses should be tingling and your security safety awareness should be kicking in. That training should be kicking in. Like I said before, depending on what happens, you might want to shelter in. Depending on what happens, you know, the information can be crucial. If you want to step up this pro tip, you can also learn the police codes. Sometimes it's not a violent situation. Sometimes it is. And in the radio, so that cops and uh, the people that... I keep forgetting these names, these acronyms and stuff. Anyways, the people that are taking the calls, the 911 calls, they tend to speak in codes. Let's say like a 1010, suspicion person, depending where you're working at. That's the most common term used. And you get to be able to be aware and you get to hear the description of that person. It's not so that you can go tackle somebody or arrest them. It's so you could be aware. So you can be aware and you never know you need to duck and cover. You need to close the door. You need to turn off the lights. You need to bring down the gates. You need to just be observant on that particular person. Now, you can't profile or you shouldn't, obviously. But it lets you be more alert and more aware. That's pretty much it, guys. Those are my three tips for today. Let's go for 10 likes, guys. I really need them. I want to make sure this information is going out there to security guards, to people just working night shifts in general. I want to speak about safety, not just security, because safety and security is pretty much the same thing, but security is also profession. You know what I'm saying? Take care, so love yourself. Wear your PPE. Wipe down your, work, your workstation. Stay awesome, guys. Be a good, kind person. Subscribe, thumbs up, comment. Adios.